My name is Alex Braun, and this is my DI for the 2015 and 2016 school year. Tick, ha, tick, ha. So, Ace, what's it like up in heaven? Everything it's cracked up to be? People say it's supposed to be beautiful, but really, how would anyone know? Maybe that's why I used to be so afraid of dying because we do not know what is next. Oddly enough, my feelings have changed. Too Siblings, you either love them or hate them. But when Jen pulls a little brother, Mike, aka Ace, gets into a car accident, she has a hard time accepting the reality that he could be gone. So she tells him, I'll be looking for you, Ace, by Jennifer Laura Frank. I was at work Saturday, December 6th. With only an hour to go until I had to pick you up at Vinny's. Then the phone rang. It was her sister Laura and I was expecting to hear the usual. I remember that bring home some shampoo. But instead, the words are reverberated through my ears. Mike's... Mike's been here with the car. <gasps> I went numb and I shook the entire drive to St. John's Hospital. I remember praying that your face would not be too disfigured and that you would not break too many bones. Death was even a possibility. I figured he was too good of a kid. Too strong, too well liked, and way too young to die. I mean, God, he was only 11. My worst nightmare could not comprehend with what I found facing me. I was ushered into a doctor's lounge where a whole family and your friends sat huddled. Phrases such as holding his own and it could go either way and there's always hope with kids. We're past my ears. I sunk onto the couch. While he was in surgery, I prayed the hardest I've ever prayed in my life. Then, after a while, the doctors let Lauren, Jeff, and me up to see intensive care unit. There you were, underneath cast bandages, tubes, and stitches. What's a beautiful little brother that I love. The doctor said that even though he was in the coma, he might be able to hear, but I couldn't speak. Nothing I felt could be put into words. I wanted to give you the world, but I can only hold your hand. And I kept thinking, come on, Mike, you can make it. <sighs> At 10.30 that night, Lauren, Jeff, and I went home while mom and dad stayed. We played some of your albums so loud, the floor shook. He would have been so proud of us. After a while, I tried to fall asleep on the couch, but my mind raced. I kept thinking of how you and I danced the whole day with my cousins at Aunt Becky's wedding and how you jump around your room playing air guitar like bow, wow, wow, wow. Oh, and how you went and messed up your lives at the Christmas play trials so that way Brian could get the part he so desperately wanted. I thought how great life was with you without you being unbearable. Oh, 
I was so scared. We did all that we could for you. As an offering, Uncle Bob gave up smoking and you know what chain smoker he is. Your best friend, Matthew. He went to church and lit 21 candles. Your basketball member, just for you. Lauren, Jeff, and I are playing this huge surprise party when you got home and mom and dad were gonna get Ace Freely to come visit you. All the hoping, planning, and praying got us through that first night. In the morning, he was transferred to Columbia Hospital, where it was thought that your chances for survival was greater in babies I see you. A team of wonderful doctors and nurses worked with you around the clock. And I was there too, coaching you in my mind like I used to do at your Little League games last spring. Come on, Mike, you can do it. Give me your best shot. This is not a game. This is real. Well, Ace, you made it through one more night. When we arrived at the hospital early Monday morning, the doctor said he was having a CAT scan done and we couldn't come see you right afterwards, but then you came back in kayak arrest with the doctors giving one last scramble for your life. My mind was frantic. Mike, 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 you cannot die. You have too much to live for. What about the guitar lessons she was going to take? The band is going to start with Matt and Vinny? What about the basketball team, Mike? The basketball team. Wait, Mike, don't go. I love you. Too much to lose. You keep fighting, please. Please, Mike. Mike. Well, it's, I know you gave it your best shot. You can only fight for so long with so much against you. It was the worst moment of my life when I heard, I'm sorry, he's gone. The room spun and I felt detached from my body as if the pain of his telling the alley was too much to bear. I wanted to die to be with you, to make sure that you were okay. After they took out the tubes and monitors. The doctors let me see you once more. I felt like this cell was close. I wanted to shake your shoulders and have you open up your eyes. Instead, I gave you a kiss. Willing to do anything to bring you back. But the only thing, the only thing I could do was to let you go. Tick tock, tick tock.